come on. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to make drum and bass in the style of Sub Focus, Wilkinson and Hospital Records. Following on from my insanely popular in the style of videos, which you can check out there, there, there. Loads of people have been asking me for drum and bass and I love this genre of music, so that's what I'm going to be doing today. I'll be doing this just with the stock plugins in Ableton Live 10, but you can follow along in any door because the same techniques apply and you can download this project completely free and all the project files below this video, so do that. We will be going into the drums and the bass and we'll be going into these soaring chord progressions. Lush, lush baby lush. And we'll also be going into vocals, mixing and a bit of arrangement too. If you want videos like this each and every week, don't forget to subscribe to my channel and whack that notification bell to make sure that you actually see them. Thanks for your support and without further ado, let's hop into the door and get it done. Okay, let's do this one take bilio. First thing I'm going to do is select the tempo, 170. Now there are lots of different vibes you can use for drum and bass. You've got liquid drum and bass, you've got dark side drum and bass, you've got old school jungle, stuff like that. But we are focusing on Wilkinson style and hospital records. So I've had this bass line in my head for a couple of days. So that's where I'm going to start because it's always good to start where you um, have inspiration. Oh, silly me, I forgot to name this. Drum and bass, I'm going to call this speed and pace uh, because it kind of rhymes. Okay, so first thing I'm going to do is select a sampler to play my bass line and I'm going to just choose a simple bass sound at first um, and then we'll change it a bit later. But, the, you know, I want to just get the, the actual rhythm in the groove. So let's play that. Right, you can do this using a, I'm oh, just going to tweak the ADSR so it's got less, more, kind of more stabbiness. Okay, now I'm just going to turn the metronome on. You could do the kick first, but I'm just going to do it like this. Zoom in a bit so I can see more of the grid. There we go. Now we will be improving the sound, so don't worry in a little while. But next I'm going to do the kick and I'm going to do this in audio rather than MIDI. And I'll show you why. It's so I can zoom in and you see here the kick and the bass kind of overlap. But I don't want that because I want a really clean kick and bass line. So I'm just going to pull that kick back so it stops by the time that kick plays, uh, by the time the bass plays. I'm going to turn it down because otherwise I'm going to get clipping on my master channel. And now I'll program in my kick pattern. There we go. There are only a couple of drum and bass kick patterns really. And this is the one I've chosen because it works well with the kick. Uh, sorry, works well with the bass groove. Nice. It's really important to get a groove going. Okay, next, before we go into these massive lush chords, like Wilkinson style chords, I'm going to put in a snare. And it's important with this kind of drum and bass to have snare with a nice low end body as well as that high end snap. You can layer your drums, but I always find it's better to get the uh, sound right first. I'm just transposing it because it was a little bit low. As you can hear, it's actually got like a, a tone to it because it's got that low end. So I just program this scene on every other beat. I know it sounds dry at the moment, but we will get to that. But next thing I want to do is just add um, the chords because we need that lush chord kind of break to what's it called? Contrast the, um, the bass line, the, the dark side thing. So the way I'm going to do that is first get a chord sound. Um, I'm just going to use wavetable because I'm doing everything with the Ableton plugins, but you can use any nice wavetable synth really to get a lush sound. I'm just going to have a listen to some of the uh, pad sounds and then jam something in. I'm going to show you how you can program it in if you can't play the piano. I'm not really good at the piano, but I'm good enough to kind of get by. Ooh. Nice. Lush, 
lush baby lush. Okay, let's get these epic chords. I'm going to do a um, MIDI clip. And the way you do this is by first drawing in all the notes of that scale, my template technique. So we're doing it in B. It's probably going to be B minor because we want that sound. Um, but the easiest way to do it is just draw in all the notes to A minor natural. And that's just all the white notes from A up to A. And then you don't have to worry about which black note should be in the scale. Easy peasy lemon squeezy. And then you can just grab them all and then notch them up until the lowest note is B. Boom. When you press fold, that's the scale of B minor natural. So I'm going to grab all those notes, hold alt and duplicate them up one octave and down one octave. And then when I press fold, we've got three octaves of B minor natural. So we're not going to run out of space. I'm going to select them all, press left cursor. So they're outside my clip so you don't hear them play. They're just working as a template. Now let's draw in the bass notes. And the beauty of the template technique is you can use any of the notes in here and it's going to work. So which one did I hit for my bass note? Okay, G. You can use metronome if it helps you. So we'll go for a four chord progression. And now all, all you need to do to build the chords above it are just skip a note each time. So we can build this chord by missing a note using this template technique. And then you've got this beautiful chord. And I'm just going to duplicate that and leave the bass note the same, except on the last one, I think I hit a, yeah. But again, it's all, all the notes are within the scale of B minor natural. So you're just wiggling them around, listen how it sounds using this simple technique. Heart melter, baby. And if we, in fact, I'm going to unfold because I, could have done one more octave up there, but I'm just going to put one more note at the top of each chord. And these notes are both within the same scale. Because we want it to be really epic. And I think we've achieved that. So now I'm going to tweak the ADSR and just make it a bit more flowing and paddy um, so the amplitude envelope that sounds pretty cool you know, you can tweak all the matrix within the wavetable if you want. And turn down some of the resonance. Let's take away that hissing sound. Now we're getting somewhere. Okay, next we are going to just tweak this sound slightly by warming it up and we'll go back to do this in the mixing stage but I'm going to add a saturator just to add some more harmonics and I'm going to take out some of the low frequencies add some high frequencies And this is going to be our epic breakdown. So the next thing we're going to do is work out some kind of melody to go over that. Um, so I will load in another one of these bad boys. I've got my magic list, which I'm going to re refer to as well. So I'll load in a wavetable and we are doing the melody. Cool. Um, so let's again choose a nice sound. Ooh, that's all right. That's nice already. So let's 
we, we can use this template technique. We could just use the same um, technique. So let's see, we delete these chords. Yeah, I just duplicate it. Now when I press fold, if I use any of these notes, I know it's going to sound good in my melody. I'll select them all and move them up a couple of octaves though, so it's more in melody land. Ooh, ah, bedtime. Okay, that sounds a little bit cheesy, so I will change the sound, but let's have a listen what sound would work. Uh, we have got some mallets. That's quite cool. It's important to select the right sound. Ah, uh, yeah, that's better. That there, I already love it. And you can do this using that technique. So if we look in here, all the notes I'm hitting are in this template that we made. Ooh. Nice. Okay, so we can program that in or we can play it in. It's a, it's a bit easier with a metronome. Take out the second one. There we go. So this is going to be contrasting our big drop. And I'm going to switch out the second one just to make it interesting. And I want some kind of cool and response melody to that. So it's it kind of does it once and then the other one replies to it. So I'm going to call that, I'll just call this response. Um, and again, I'm going to choose another sound from um, from Wavetable because it's quick. Ooh, Oriental. That Japanese, um, oh, what's those instruments called? Can't remember. Begins with K. Again, you could use the same te template technique. All these notes are within that key. B minor natural. Oh, I, I think my heart literally just melted. I'll just have a sip of coffee from my limited edition EDM tips mug. Smash like, subscribe, you know it makes sense. Gonna put those at maximum velocity because I think the filter opens up a bit. And then we can change the second one as well to mirror the change in the cool melody. Okay, let's have a quick listen to that through and then we're going to roll onto the drums, making the bass sound much bigger and we'll take it from there. A 
and all this will sound much bigger. Yes, I accept that into both my heart and my soul. Next, we have got, okay, we got that, da, 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 da. Let's get some vocals over this. So I'm going to use splice for this. Um, if you just search for vocals in this key, and we know it's in B minor natural because of the work we did earlier. So um, if we just go vocal, I want a female vocal. It's kind of got an old school ravey vibe to it in terms of the chords and so and that's also indicative of hospital records so if we go vocal female b minor uh, it doesn't matter which speed it is uh, we can change the speed once it once it's in so let's have a, a listen see what we get you can already hear it they they just sound good because they're in the right key. Ooh, y yeah, you're right, Uru. And you've got the take it back, which is kind of, um, you know, like nostalgic and back to rave culture and all of that. So let's have a quick peaky peaky 100 BPM. So if we go in there that you can see it's warped automatically incorrectly. So just unwarp it, warp it again, put 100 in manually, choose complex pro. It's the nicest um, warp algorithm on Ableton for vocals. And then let's just have a listen. Let's take it back to town. And don't worry about that rubbish bass line. We'll sort that out nicely. Okay. Do 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 do. Let's take it back to a town when we were so much in love, baby. Ooh, baby. Let us retract on the pain we've known each other so long. Yeah. Almost there. I want her voice to. Let's take it back to a town. I want the two to come in a bit later though. I'm just going to tweak this manually by chopping it up. It's almost right, but the, the rhythm kind of throws me off a bit. Let's sing it back to. Let's sing it back. Do, do, do. So the two I want to hit on the beat. Do, 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 do. Do, do, do. Let's sing it back to a time when we were so much in love. Yeah, like that. Let's sing it back to a time when. And the, the baby kind of goes off there as well. Baby, baby. Yeah, so we go there. Nope, there. Yes, except the baby. I want the E to be on the beat. Okay, almost there, almost there. I'm going to do this baby with a warp, actually, so it's a bit smoother. I'm just going to loop this bit, put um, the metronome back on so I can really hear the rhythm. Just get them out of the way so I can concentrate. Baby. 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 Okay, so I'm going to go in and I'm going to hold uh, the command button and double click so I can now move these warp markers. I think that's probably it. Yes, that's the one. I'm going to move it back slightly. Yeah, here we go. Let's take it back to a time when we were so much in love, baby. Let's take it back to a time. The time is slightly. I'm going to drag all of this over. You can, I can see from the transients it's slightly late. Get back to a time when we were so much in love, baby. Love, baby. 
That's that's the ticket. That is the ticket. Ooh, feels. That's the one. That is the one. Right, that's my loop. I'm going to copy that. Let's see. We'll get rid of that bit. Get rid of that bit. And it comes in there. So we should just be able to duplicate that now. And I'm going to do a bit of processing on this vocal really quickly. Let's take it back to a time when we. Let's take it back to a time when we were so much in love, baby. Take out the low end. And they're, it's a bit peaky. Um, it's quite dynamic, so I'm just going to use a bit of compression. Just to smooth out the signal. This will be the build up. Yeah. Okay. Next, we are going to add a little bit of delay just to make it sound bigger. Um, I'll use echo. It's got a nice feel to it. And I'm going to do some other delay on the auxiliary channel. But first, let's just get it sounding good. Let's take it back to a time when we were so much in love, baby. Yeah. Let us retract all the pain we've known each other so long. Yeah. Let's take it back to a time when we were so much in love, baby. I'm going to duplicate all those lovely chords because it's good for you. Okay. Let's take it back to a time when we were so much in love, baby. Yeah. Let us retract all the pain we caused each other so long. Yeah. Let's take it back to a time when we were so much in love, baby. This is this is epic. Right, I want in incidental delays as well. So I'll show you what I mean by that. So if we add a return channel, call it Voxdel, color it my nice vocal color, get another one of these echo jobbers on there. Full wet because it's on an auxiliary channel, so we don't want the dry signal being fed through. Um, and then we need to choose the right delay settings, which we'll do. But I'm just going to automate the delay and feed it in on the voice, on the, the, the words that I want her to repeat. So we go do 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 automation. Let's take it back to a time when we were so much in love. Baby, baby yep. Yeah. Much in love, baby, baby. Okay, I just need to choose the right settings on that. Um probably not dotted. Oh, It's this one. Notes. But I only want it on those particular notes. And again on that, yeah. yeah, yeah. I want it ping ponged out to the left and right. Let's have a listen now. And then I'm just going to duplicate that automation as well. Okay, now we are going to work on this bass line and finish the drums off. So we'll quickly go back to that loop. We just, whoops. Um, we're going to turn off the vocals because they'll distract us. Right, obviously that sounds rubbish. So we are going to tweak the bass line. That is our modus operandi. So this is more for the character, I think, than the actual body. So if we... Uh, 
I'm going to use a synth to do the next bass. So I'll just duplicate it, turn, get rid of that sampler. And I'm going to again use the wavetable. It's my synth of choice today. And I'm going to go into bases and see what we got going on. Um, lots of quite nice, you know, potentially like that's some good. Yeah, we're going to use that one as well. Granite Shard, I remember that. We'll use that in a minute for like a neuro bass little intro. That's quite dirty. Let's have a listen. Okay, let's take it down a couple of octaves. That's already better. Let's get some shuffle in there. Give me that shuffle, baby. Okay, I'm going to go to... Um, I'm going to get a hi-hat in there first before I bring in a shuffle. Uh, so just a normal closed hat will do the job. And I shall do it. I'll unfold. And just copy, paste them on every one, two, three, four, five, six, every eighth. I'll do a triple little one at, just to kind of give it a bit of interest. Da -da -da -da. Like so. Nice. And at the end as well. Triple one there. And I'm going to add a ride symbol. And probably I'll take out some of the low frequencies there. And this is just to add some more high end energy. So I'll do that on every fourth beat where the kick would be in a house track. Um, and I'm going to change it so I've only got one ride symbol playing at once so they don't overlap each other. Obviously, that's way too loud. Cool, that's already sounding much, much better. Now let's get a, oh, what other, I've, I've written which hats, sorry, which um, drums I should have. Next would be a shaker, as I said. So this is just a Maracas sample from an old sample pack. Um, it looks like it's slightly out of time, you can see. So what I'm going to do is go in and move this beginning marker. And you can see here it's moving how it looks. So I want to hold command and then it just then I can line it up with the grid manually like that. I'm just going to loop the first part because I, I don't need the second part. It's literally just for a background shuffle. So let's have a listen to this. Okay, that's at half speed, so we need to double that speed. So I'm going to double click on it and I'm going to do that divide by two. So it's now going to be double the speed and then it should sound awesome. Call that shaker. Color it green because it's my drum color. Whoops, wrong green. And then I'm going to add some saturation to it just to fatten it up a bit and then take out a lot of that low end. Make sure it's not clipping. Uh, let's see, EQ8. So we only need a touch of that high end. Okay, right, on to the next thing. Let's have a look at my magic list. Now, I think I might do the, oh yeah, a big kind of saw synth, sub focus type um, lead. And the way I'm gonna do that is use the same melody, I think. And I might have it match the bass line a bit, actually, in terms of rhythm.
Now, I don't need to do those extra notes, um, so I'm just going to duplicate this and I'm going to make a saw melody from like a big melody. And I'm going to use the same pattern exactly. And I'm going to just take it over there. And let's start from scratch. So I'm going to use an operator this time. Actually, I'm lying. <laughs> I'm going to use an analog. And I'm going to start from scratch so you can see how to do this. I'll do quick routing so I can spread them out left and right. And I want this a big sustained saw synth, detuned, lovely goodness. So I'm going to go to amplitude and make sure sustain's on full and release is on zero. Same for the second oscillator. Sustain on full, release on zero. Done. Job done. Only joking. Right, so I'm going to detune one of them and the other. Pan one left, pan one right. And I want it monophonic because it's just going to be a lead synth. So I'm going to choose voices, mono. And I'm going to put glide on. Let's have a listen. I'm going to uh, press legato so the notes are all longer. Whoops. No scales out there. And then I'm just manually tweaking this to how it sounds like it should be in my head. Whoops, got to take out these ones too. I'll make sure they're all the same velocity so it's a nice uniform sound. That's cool. I'm going to do a little stutter here. And now if I drag this response, it should still work as well. Cool, okay, this saw needs some more grit. So now we've got the main sound, we could actually duplicate this um into by holding uh g sorry command and g into a rack then duplicating it um and we're just going to tweak this second lot of um synths so we can pan them even further and we could change the change the waveforms So let's mix it into our first one, which is the saw wave. I'm going to tweak this release so it doesn't click.
Okay, let's make this bigger by adding some saturation at first. In fact, I'm going to use something else that one of my students from my masterclass actually said, uh, uh, kind of brought me onto, which was, let's see, what was it called? It was called, if I can find it, um, which I hadn't really used before. It's erosion. So it kind of works a bit like a saturator or a bit reducer. Some, add some noise to. So it's already sounding um, bigger. Uh, I'll add some EQ to get rid of some of the unwanted frequencies. We'll add some room reverb, which I've got on my auxiliary channels. It's just a, sh a short decay time, that's all it is. And let's dial some into this melody. Cool, okay, we are getting there. We will tweak all these sounds soon. Give me a big fat hell yeah if you like this video and subscribe to my channel if you dig, like, share, all of that good stuff. I really appreciate the support. Okay, on to the next thing and don't forget to download the channels. Oh yeah, I'm going to add that crazy Nero bass sound that we found. Um, let's see, let's see, let's see. In fact, before that, I'm going to just add some sub bass so we've got more control. So I'm just duplicating it, calling it sub bass. And I'm going to use an operator for this, my sub bass generator of choice, uh, operator, simple sine wave for this. So let's just solo that. And I'm gonna filter out the high frequencies. I can hear some clicking, turn that off. So it's just a nice smooth sub bass. And of course in the, our other basses, we're gonna have to roll off the low end to, to kind of sit well with the sub bass. So. So our sub bass has got as much or as little power as we want to give it now because we've got more control. And our last bass, which was the kind of the first one we started with, we might not even need us anymore. Yeah, it just gives that bite at the top end. Listen to the difference with that. But we need to get rid of the sub bass in it. We're really just using that top bass for the high end, so you can hear there's not much low end in that. Let's listen to that with the drums. Whoops. I'm going to add some more saturation to this. It needs to be bigger. More D tune. Okay, this is this is going to be a fat build now. We are going to use that take it back because that's our hook really. This is all about nostalgia. Another sip, limited edition. Nice. Right. Let's take it back to a town. So we're going to extend that back as it were. A uh, bit of yoga. Uh. Let's take it back. We're going to loop that. So I'm going to create another channel. 
In fact, I'll just duplicate the vocal channel. I'm going to call it back and I'm going to do, 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 just take the back as it were. There we go. This is going to be epic. Let's take it back. back. I'm going to extend this back. I'm not going to make that joke again. Let's be honest, it wasn't good the first time. Sometimes it's best to quit whilst you're ahead. Or quit whilst you're back. Okay. Right, now we can loop that. Let's take it back. Let's take it back. Yeah, okay, this is going to be cool. I'll take, uh, I'll, um, I, I know, that's what we need to do. We need to <clears throat> control this big time. Now we're going to do that with an EQ. So this is going to lead up in, this is our build now. We're going to lead into the drop. Let's take a and I'm going to take that peak down because it's quite harsh. You can see there in the spectrum analyzer. And we're going to add some redux on it just to add some interest. I might take the echo off here. Yeah, this is what we're going to do for the build. We're going to go redux, redux. And at the same time, we're going to be automating this frequency up. Get rid of the low end. Okay, we're going to make this uh, double length though, actually. So I'm just going to turn on this anchor so it's not duplicating the automation. And I'm going to make that take longer, basically. And you can use your reference track to inform how long these builds should be. And then we're going to hit the drop here. This is going to be fat with a capital F. Right, I'm just going to color those my kind of synthy instrumenty colors, which today will be blue. Today we are mostly going to be using blue. And then assign tracks. Right, so let's copy some of this over for the drop, which will be here. Now it's I I want to keep some of the musicality coming through the drop to save it going um straight back to not much sound and I'm going to change the bass notes so it, it kind of follows a chord progression now uh, again you can use the template technique to do this I'm just going to get rid of these bass lines because obviously I'm going to change the notes so I'll have to duplicate it down Dude. So something like this. Uh, so we'll just duplicate that. Whoops. And then, whoops drag that down onto the other two bass instruments as well and it should be all gravy I can see here that it's an octave up so I'll select them all knock it down a couple of octaves let's see what one this is on and this is the correct octave whoops make sure it's all lined up maybe I hit the wrong note there Yes. So it should actually be D and E. We 
which is fine. We can just bring that into copy it down into the other one and then copy it into the top one. But now we need to notch it up a couple of octaves. Nice. And then we're going to use this neuro bass I was talking about. Just like a little intro. Um, so the way I'm going to do that is just create another MIDI channel. I'm going to choose the wavetable again. And which bass was it that we saw earlier? It was in there somewhere. It was called Granite Shard, wasn't it? So I'm just going to do this really quickly. I would spend a lot more time making my own neuro bass, but it does take a while. So it's I'll just work from from a. In fact, if you want me to create a bass sound, I'll do a short one of my short tutorials on it. So let me know in the comments below if you want me to create a neuro bass sound in Wavetable in Ableton. And then we uh, and then we go back. So oh yeah, this is going to be sweet. So if your drop was like that, you could leave the shuffle out and then wait till you had that. Um... Here. Ooh, rolling. Absolute roller. Need a bit more high end in that shuffle. Oh, beast. Should have called this beast. Beast face. Um, okay, on to the next, the build up. Where were we? That's where we were. Let's get this build up going. First, I'm going to continue. I'm going to make the pad bigger, actually. I'm going to add some hall reverb on the auxiliary channel. Let's take it back to a time when we were so much in love, baby. Yeah. Let us retract all the pain because each other so. That pad needs a bit more work. I'm going to turn my monitors down because my ears are bleeding now. I can't help it. Don't mix on high levels, bad for your ears. Needs more low end to make it just more heart meltery. That's actually a word as of today, heart meltery. Should get that on a t-shirt. Right, um, special effects, we're gonna add some flanger to this. Um, not too much. Just to add more movement. I'm just taking out some of the low end, um, the mid lows in the auxiliary channel because, you know, things can get muddy when you've got whole reverb. Um, so let's ha let's have a listen, and then we're going to work into the build up. Let's take it back to a time when we were so much in love, baby. Yeah. Let us retract all the pain we caused each other so long. Yeah. Yeah. Let's take it back to a time when we were so much in love, baby. Yeah. Let us retract all the pain we caused each other so long. Yeah. 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 Let's take it back. We are also going to um, add some you some gain automation on this back, 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 back. And we're going to continue the back into the drop as well to, to keep that musicality that I spoke about. 
we'll take it out for the um, neuro bass bits. And some reverb. Or re uh, room reverb. So this, whoops, let's um, take the volume down. So it starts off louder and then we just want it in the background really on the drop. Okay, let's get this uh, kicking with the old build-up. So what we're going to do is continue the hi-hats throughout the break, but I'm going to take the volume down slightly, and this is just to keep the, the rhythm going because it does get a bit confusing. Um, and when people are on the dance floor, they, they don't want to be confused. I'll just make them every beat though, not every single beat, like this. So you can hear, that's all it is. Right, this, this is how you blow minds. Let's get that bass line, let's duplicate it over there, and we're going to introduce this bass line like an absolute bad boy or a bad girl. If you're a girl, this will make you a bad girl. So we're going to go group them together and then we're going to do some processing over the whole bass line as it's introduced. And the way we're going to do this is whack on a reverb whack on a auto filter um, and prob and we're going to switch the auto filter to be a high pass filter what else do i want to do um probably a probably a utility just so we can really grip this because it needs to be bang on in terms of levels so this is what you can do we want to introduce this bass line and let and let's let people know something's coming so let's do it. Let's take it back. Let's solo the bass. Oh, actually, I want the bass line staying on the same notes for this. So it's only going to change um, notes on the drop. So let's try again. So this is how we're going to introduce it. We've got reverb on. We're going to bring down this uh, frequency over the build up to let people know it's coming.
So what we are doing is we've obviously really reverberated the bass and taken out all of the low end. So it's more the rhythm and the character coming through. And we're going to control it with the gain because the, um, yeah, the, the reverb will really change the volume. So we need to control it just how we want it. Let's take a bet. And the dry wet. So you can already hear where we're going with this, but the volume's going to have to come down as the um, wet reverb gets switched down. Let's take a bet. Ooh. Yes. Taxi. Okay, so we'll group all these, Bosch, and we're going to automate that group to only be on in the break. Otherwise, that was just horrible. So um, let's do it again. And, th and then we get this on the drop. And that's going to maximize the impact. But the other thing we're going to do is this saw melody. That's too, too loud on the build. So we're going to do a similar thing, but we're just going to use reverb. So we'll have the reverb just be on in the build. So let's, let's just turn it off everywhere else. And then it's going to come in and be full power. Let's take a bet. And we'll get the drums in on this build too. Where's that high end coming from? Oh, the back. Now, you know, the, the bass is quite loud at the moment, as is the um, saw melody. So you could start adding some sidechain compression um, from the kick rather than on a 4-4 beat, because obviously this is drum and bass, so the kick's not happening on the 4-4 beat. You could do it with the shaker as well slightly. So you could add a compressor, sidechain, input from the kick. And you can have that on the melody, but it might sound a bit weird, so you'd probably want to dial it back. Just lets the kick come through a bit more. Maybe we need a bit more bass in that break. Right now, let's do the drum build up. We want a big boom first. Let's get a kick boom. Like a whole kick. So you, you, you've got that big cool kit. So we're going to add a, um, a hall kick just to go boom. And we're going to introduce some of the drums. We're going to do that with the kick. 
So we're going to program a kick in to go. And I'll make it shorter. So it's a, like a do, do, do. And we're going to need to automate some volume on this. So we will use a utility for that. So if we go to the kick channel, get ne never automate the channel faders. Just, I can't be bothered to go into wire, but just don't. <laughs> um, all right. Actually, I will. It's because if you alter the nodes and then you want to change the volume later, you can't because you'll, you'll need to go through and change all your automation and it's just a pain. So just. We just want to be bringing in a bit of low end energy here, but leave the full power kick until the, the, the drop, obviously. This applies to all genres, really. Let's double that up, get that tension coming. Do, 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 do. And then we want a little kick before to int introduce it. And we'll do that with the drum as well. I want a snare just before. Those, those back vocals are really just dominating, so let's turn them down a bit. That's better. There we go. So with these closed hats, we're going to have these mimic the, the kick. And we're going to have these reduce in volume as well, because uh, that's going to add more um, tension when the drop actually hits. So let's just kind of grab them all, hold um, command, and then drag your line down just a bit. Whoops, that last one. Missed that. And we are going to get a clap in there as well. Almost done, guys. Um, right, so let's bring a clap into the mix just for the build. And again, we can have that. Just that. And you could actually have that clap um, automate up as well. So. Let's see, how would, how would I do that? Because it's going to automate all the drums up if I do this. MIDI control pitch bend, but that, you know what, that's, that's fine. Let's hear if that's actually done anything. Yes, it has. The ride needs more energy. We're pretty much there, guys. Wait for the Nero bass. Oh, that's it. The vocal, you know, this is our this is our riff here. Let's take a bit. That's a bit harsh. Let's take a bit. I'll compress it a bit more. I'm going to just um, add some of that delay on the AUX channel to the the hook, which is Let's Take It Back. In fact, that's what I call this tune, Let's Take It Back. Um, so it's just the back that's going to be echoed. 
that on the drop. Yeah, so we'll go boom. Whoops, pressing the wrong buttons. Yeah, and we'll, we'll cut off everything where, when she says, let's take it back. Let's take it back. Hey. Maybe that's the right. Let's take it back. Let's take it back. Yeah, that's it. Here we go. There you go, guys. I'm gonna hip hop, hip hop, hippity hop hop into the extra bit right now. I'll also do a bit more work on this before you can download it, and then it's gonna sound even better. Obviously, let me know if you want me to make this into a full track. I'll probably make it into a course if you do, because I haven't actually done a drum and bass course yet, and I'll be using third party plugins and make it just so. Anyway, hope you've enjoyed it, and thank you for watching once again. So there you have it guys, I really hope you've enjoyed this tutorial. Don't forget to download the project file and all the samples for free. Give it a big fat thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. Thanks for watching and until next time, cheers and happy producing. Let's take